Hello everybody, welcome back to another red video. Uh, this time we are gonna be, uh, doing something a little bit different. I said I'd do exhibition matches part two, but, uh, I am not doing that because, uh, I decided to do something interesting. Uh, I will make an exhibition matches part two with the, um, 3v3 and 4v- with the, uh, 4v4 patch that's in the description. And I'll do some stuff with that, but for now, uh, I'm gonna do something pretty interesting. Uh, I've done this kind of thing before by happenstance with, um... CBS2 God Rule, but basically, uh, this is gonna be an endurance match with one of the characters. Basically, uh, I'm gonna have a stock match right here, not yet. He needs to be there for the next. But basically, we're gonna be using ST Akuma as our subject. Uh, he is gonna face off against several characters. Um, starting with ST Shin Akuma, which is who he was bodying before. So, uh, uh look for goddamn, uh, sure, why not? That's one ugly color. Fight. Okay. So basically, we're just gonna see how many last matches that ST Akuma can play. Because eventually, I'm just gonna hit random, and uh, un unless we get like a god in your character or something, then uh. We're just gonna see how long, uh, Shin how long regular Akuma can last. Round two, fight. I'll keep making it quieter so that I can actually think. Yeah, it's, it's no mystery why I didn't put ST Akuma in the arcade mode. He does so much fucking damage. There you go. There you go. That's excellent. I found nothing but weakness. There you go. Anyway. We're gonna do that again. And uh, at this point, we need to hit the random one. I mean, Mr. X could probably you know, sit there and tank it. Anyway, we have... Julie? Yeah, it has to be Julie or Junie. Junie. Okay, there we go. There you go. My boy's trying to hit me up on this So there you go. So that's one match. So let's see. Fight. So ST Akuma versus Junie. We are probably already have this. Oh, wow. The, oh my god. Yeah, that dash punch is really working out to Junie's favor. However, I do feel like Akuma is learning. Whoa! Whoa! Dude, this is the Marvel stage. Why the fuck is he trying to go for mix-ups? Oh, I'm only that boss rage is still available. Yeah, he was learned it. Yeah, Juni did put in a little tiny bit of work, but now, now Akuma Fantastic. I'm doing nothing before the last the beast. Abandon hope. Abandon strength. Abandon life. Okay. Good for you, Akuma. Uh, let's give him a different color. Give him this color. Alright. There we go. Random character we get. Oh my god. Who is that? Oh fuck. Not some like melty blood. Melty blood ass. Sion Tatari. Alright, I feel like that's from like fucking what's its face game. <laughs> Never mind, it's all Never mind. Never mind, it's fucking melty blood. Shoosh! There you go. I love how Bison's body is just there for him. You know, this isn't melty blood. What the fuck is this game? What the fuck game is Sian Tatari from? I don't know. 
Whoa. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. She's kind of like, like this, she's sort of like, but that didn't work. Or Neo Jesus, rather. Jesus, Neo Jesus. Round two, fight. Whoa, that uppercut. <laughs> she just gave him the beat. She just gave him the beat. Well, okay, that's three matches so far. Jesus Christ. Yeah. We'll just keep going until Shinokuma loses. There you go. We'll just keep going until he loses. Alright, Violent Ken. Who's actually in the arcade ladder? Bitch. So yeah, Akuma kills Bison and then ST, well, ST Akuma kills Bison and then ST Shinokuma kills Jelko. Pretty funny. Wow. That was like nothing. Shush. Round two. Akuma's beat. If I had Source Anchor at Violent Ken, this would be even a little, a little more nice. But... I don't know. Alright, so that's four games. Dude, Akuma is just raking in the games. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Alpha Evil Ryu. This is probably where the streak's gonna end, man. Match five. Because Alpha Evil Ryu lands one thing in your day. It's basically you're dead. It's all about how much damage you can get off at once. But Alpha Evil Ryu is really hard. He's really good. Really because he can basically he links all of them. Pretty much he links everything that touches you. It's incredible how he, how he can how his AI connects everything. Confirm the AI is better than me. Confirm the AI is better than me. <laughs> the computer is better than I am. Jesus Christ. Round two. Fight. Like this is a matchup I see myself. I'm losing. I don't know about E reuse chances. <laughs> Eventually, I'll just start hand picking characters that may or may not close to Because, uh. This is the fourth hit of the random button, and it's giving us, you know, not very difficult characters. The only character that so far that's taken off a considerable amount of health off of Akuma has been Siantatari. Everything else has been just meh. There you go. Ooh, it's King Lot, uh, King Lion. Yeah, that's King Lion. Red is King Leo, blue is King Lion. There we go. Are you ready? Aronki's Tower. King Lion could actually pose some difficulty. I feel. Fight. Earth Jabber! Wow. No way he's countering it. Oh. So far, King Lion's got the lead. But Akuma is basically just gonna have to lose him down with chip damage. Okay, that was a combo. Wow. That's a lot of damage. Oh my god, that was really close. That was really good. That was a good game. That was a, that was a good match right there. That was a good uh, round right there. Round two. Yeah, that was a good round right there. Did it even happen again? I think King Lion's uh, energy has gone down. 
Akuma's fucking enraged. Like, how, how dare you? Earth Chopper! Alright, so that was not a super. That was just a combo. Wow. I thought King Wally was actually gonna pose up there. That was a good first round, though. That was a really good first round. Like, like that was a solid first round. The second round was kinda eh. There you go. So, Akuma has... Yeah, Shinakuma, Jimmy, Sion, Violent Ken, Iryu. This is game seven that Akuma's on. Kagami. Yo. Now, I saw earlier that Kagami didn't have that good of AI. <laughs> Round one, fight! Dude, the music is like set up perfectly. Yeah, legit, I need back the guy. Because this is embarrassing. He didn't even land one attack. Round two, fight! I know Kagami can be much harder than this. Yeah, I'm gonna go to fucking Lucas' channel after this and just see some busted ass fucking Kagami that he has. Alright, so this is game 8. And we have, um... Oh fuck, what's this guy's name? Murakumo. Mur Mur Murakumo. Yes, there you go. There you go. This is from goddamn Blitzkamp, or whatever the hell its name is. Akatsuki Blitzkamp, or something to that degree. Oh shit! Oh fuck! That was a lot of damage. Whoa! That was a round taken. Okay. Oh my god. This might be the end for a Kuma. Wow. That was the end for a Kuma. Twelve minutes? So yeah, that was uh seven games Akuma lasted. There you go. We'll try. We'll try three characters. Let's, let's see how long uh, Murakumo can last. There you go. He's fighting against Megatron. Holy shit! Let's go. There you go. So this is a game one for Murakumo. This damn super like hits everybody. Yeah, and if they exceed like 15 games, then I'll just die. Does Dice Cave have a grenade? What the fuck? What? Is that like vengeance? Yeah, I knew Megatron was gonna get bodied. Murakumo's like, yeah. there you go. Ooh, Golden Axe. Yo. This could get interesting. Round one. Fight! Never mind, he gets Oko. Golden Axe is down, but not out. I grab this for you. Getting hit by stupid bullshit. Yeah, uh, Golden Axe is just like, man, I'm not gonna deal with this bullshit anymore. 
Alright. Hydron. Okay. I have a feeling Hydron's gonna lose, but... Anything can happen. Fight! Wow. Murakuma was a lot more potent than I ever realized. Yeah. So that's three games. Plankton. Round one. I wouldn't have ever expected this. Yeah, that maybe Plankton could win because of his height. <laughs> but no, he can't. He kicked him and it did no damage. Like, I think I might need just to throw a god character at him just to see if he can actually take damage. Alright, Alpha Bison. Alright. There's no way this is like a fucking end of death bringer situation. They don't attack him. It's really weird. I'm just gonna. Alright. Uh oh. Saitama might end it. That's like what, game five, game six? Round one, fight! Okay, Saitama's definitely getting super next next round. Which is basically an automatic loss. Round two, fight! Round three, fight. Yeah, he can beat. Yeah, I give up. Yeah, I give up with Murakumo. I give up with him. There you go. Let's do a double random. And then the winner of this game can have their own streak. Because fucking, yeah. Because Murakumo is fucked up. There you go. Oh, that's Maki. Maki and Devil Daigo. Uh, so, yeah. There you go. Feudal. You love Maki so much. There you go. Double Daigo from a Big Bang beat, I think. Whoa, Maki. Whoa, Maki. Calm down. She has really long hands. Round two, fight. Okay, well, uh, there's Maki. Time to shine. There you go. Against Dantel. Okay, this is game two. Round one, fight! There you go.
What the fuck? I didn't know he had that ball attack. Whatever. Yeah, this guy is not gonna win. <laughs> I doubt it. I love how Maki is using the wrong meter. He's like, nah, I don't need the right meter. I like this meter, okay? It's my style. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was pretty much to be expected, because Dantel's stupid as fuck. Oh, of course he fades away into a skeleton. Of course he does. Can't beat him to know what true power is. Okay, so this is game three. Against Shanshu. Okay. This should be an interesting match. There you go. Wow, Shanshu does no damage, but I think that's because, uh, like Mukai. She's working off like the three health bar. But then again, I don't remember. I don't know. That was just Mukai. I was just making a guess. There you go. You know what? Feudal existence will take me on everything I need to know. But Maki's putting in the finest. Round two. Fight. Okay. Uh, we can't beat her. Until we beat her, we won't know what true power is. Alright, Darth Vader. So this is game four? Yeah, this is game four. As you wish. As you wish. One, fight. <laughs> I don't even know they're just gonna get fucked up. Round two, fight. This is a disrespect for you, Sage. Maki is keeping her throne. Oh wow, Ogre. This could be an interesting match for game five. Maki game five. Or is it game or is it game six? I don't remember, but it's Maki the Ogre. Which this match should be really interesting. Because Ogre's AI is a pretty bitch. Okay, this match is not completely one-sided. Yeah, Maki's using her resources. Like, Maki actually needed to put in a fight. But then again, this is why Ogre is still in the arcade mode instead of... Yeah, Ogre. That's why I didn't stick in True Ogre, because... True Ogre is this is what I expected. Uh oh. Uh oh. We might have something big here. Uh, those are the reasons to live out the true power to win. Anyway, we got uh, NGPC Bison, which is gonna, gonna start to be really interesting for Maki to fight. Oh my god, bruh. Hey! 
Wow. A little bullshit tiny bison was able to take out mine. Not over. Not coming. Anybody else? Little Back the game right here. No. Okay, well, uh, there you go. So, I think the longest streak, I would give it to Mur Murakumo, because, uh, he probably could go on for X Infinity until Brandon would land him against, like, General or something. You know what? For the coup de grace, let's, let's see. Let's see if we can truly give Murakumo the W. Let's see what happens if we take him on against General. This might be a mistake, but, you know, it's whatever. Round one, fight! Oh, yeah, so Murakumo can't take damage, so... Yeah, he just has insane defense. Like, I knew it couldn't be, like, end of death brain. Okay, never mind. Never mind, you have general still fucking insanity. Round two, fight. Yeah, but once Murakumo starts spamming this annoying ass fucking multi-blade attack, then pretty beast. Round three, fight. Uh oh, it's this grab. <laughs> Was it gonna be like an instant kill? Nope. General's like, I'm not having this shit. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay. So, I don't know, you guys can count the games, but uh... Tell me in the comments, uh, who won. I know Maki wasn't in the running, but uh... But between ST Akuma uh, and uh, Murakumo, uh, who took the most games? Because I basically gave up with Murakumo. But you know, that's how I gave Ma uh, Maki her first game. So, I mean, who knew? I mean, I'm pretty sure between Murakumo and Maki, Murakumo would, would win. So, anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, sort of bizarrely special episode of Red. Or just another red video. You know. Uh, anyway, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.